that we have a Class A tractor here up on uh, up on the jacks here at uh, the Arvin Meritor Test Garage. And uh, why don't you come this way and I'll show you uh, the major components of a drive line assembly. So starting at the transmission where the torque would come out, um, you can see that we have basically uh, what we call an end yoke coming off of the output shaft of the transmission. That would connect to a U-joint. The U-joint's gonna allow for changes in angularity as the vehicle suspension changes or the length of the uh, drive line changes. This first component here typically would be a coupling assembly. On a coupling assembly, it's usually a fixed length shaft supported by a center bearing. The center bearing would be mounted to the cross member of the truck. Typically, you would have a slip assembly going from that point to the rear axle input shaft. Now, what a slip assembly does is it allows for that drive line to change lengths. Uh, the, the reason of uh, you needing to uh, change lengths on the drive line would be as that vehicle is going over bumps or the suspension is winding up, the uh, axle input uh, uh, shaft would uh, wind up and you would actually need to change, either lengthen or shorten that driveline assembly. So we allow that to slip or collapse and expand as necessary. Now, now right, right here for a minute, Carl, now we got some wires and stuff going on here. What's that all about? Yeah, actually what, we've, uh, what we have the ability to do is, is implement strain gauges on various components. So as we're out testing vehicles, uh, this particular strain gauge is uh, to measure uh, input torque. Um, uh, for uh, recording measurements. Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, as we were talking about the strain gauge there, um, so this uh, shaft will go into the rear axle assembly. Uh, again, you're transferring torque all the way from the transmission into the uh, axle carrier. We have a U joint assembly that, again, allows for changes in angle or plane of that drive shaft assembly and while it's rotating. Conventional setup that you would normally see on your either uh, tr truck or tractor is you would have a uh, coupling assembly at the forward portion of the vehicle and a slip assembly in the back. This particular configuration actually is what they call a reverse or outboard slip assembly. And really it's a matter of OEM preference. Um, in some rare occasions you'll see a, configura a configuration like this and it has to do with the OEM preference. Um, and also the setup of cross members and where they want to locate that uh, center bearing assembly. Um, at times you could actually use less uh, components in a, in a drive line configuration uh, when you use a uh, outboard or reverse slip assembly. Not a real popular configuration, uh, but you will see them once in a while.